except for I wanted to have locking tools and comfortable handles. And that was really the, the, the main assignment um, to, to create the wave. Hi, my name is Ben Rivera. I'm the CEO of Leatherman Tool Group. However, I've only been the CEO for 10 of the 10 years. Uh, for the first 21 years that I was here, uh, my job was uh, in, in the engineering department doing product creation uh, and managing product creation for our company. And today we're gonna talk about the WAVE. How long did it take to develop the WAVE? Well, we started in March of 1997 and uh, we ended up, it was supposed to ship in June of 1998, but I think it actually shipped somewhere around September, October of 1998 started as the deluxe tool. So then the marketing decided uh, we're gonna take away naming from the voting process and we're gonna take it over ourselves. And they came up with the word, the wave, and everybody hated it. You know, and our, our naming process, part of it includes trying to choose some uh, feature or consumer group or what have you that, that might resonate, that the product might resonate with. But with the wave, it was more about just wanting to choose a name that would translate into languages easily, be spoken over the phone. We wanted to take the original, all the best things of the original Pocket Survival Tool and make it better. And to make it better, we thought we really needed to add locking tools so that the screwdrivers wouldn't buckle when you're pushing hard on them, for example. And we wanted to have more comfortable handles. We'd gotten a lot of feedback from consumers that while they loved the original Pocket Survival Tool, they wished that it had more comfortable handles when squeezing hard. What wasn't specified or wasn't anticipated was that, that we would also gain, at the time, uh, we would also, through the process, we would also gain tools that are accessible from the outside instead of having to unfold the tool to get to a knife blade or to get to a, a file or a saw. You could access every tool one-handedly. Uh, it would lock and then you could selectively unlock it and stow it without ever having to open the tool or without even having to use two hands. Wave was first engineered and then it was designed or styled after so that we didn't have to, we didn't, we didn't feel like we had to give up on the aesthetics of the product in order to have a great performing product. And, and in the case of the Wave, we invested a lot to retool the whole factory actually to produce this product. What resulted was a knife blade which has, you know, I, I think, has beautiful curving lines and false edges and super high quality finishes. While Wave 1.0 was super popular product, uh, and a bestseller for Leatherman. Uh, we, through the warranty process, through the feedback, through letters, through trade shows and word of mouth on the streets, you know, we learned a lot about what we could do to make Wave 1.0 better. Uh, and so those included things like uh, the knife blades were larger, the, we put bronze bushings between the blades and the frame so that they open and close more smoothly. We added all, all locking tools to the inside of the tool now instead of just being on the outside of the tool. Um, we even added a, a, a safety feature that would make the knife blades lock in the stowed position when the pliers are deployed. When we were doing the business plan presentation for the full line of products uh, that were going to be introduced in 2004, uh, the Wave was actually originally absent from the line. And uh, we looked at that line and thought, you know, I think that the people are going to be upset if we discontinue the Wave. So I literally had one day to go back to my computer. Uh, redesigned the H40 into what became Wave 2.0. We came back the next day and said, okay, that's now the line is finished. So the Wave 2.0 was launched in uh, 2004. Uh, subsequently to that, we came out with uh, the, the Super Tool 300. We came out with the rebar, both which had inserted wire cutters. So in uh, 2018, we updated the Wave 2.0 to become the Wave Plus by adding the premium wire cutters. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of, of the, all the different ways that Leatherman has been used and, and to save steps and save the day. And, you know, you can look at social media and you'll find that a lot of people share their tattoos of Leatherman's as, just as a reminder perhaps of the, the times that that product has helped them save steps or save the day. I think the Wave does the best job of packing the most features and benefits into the least amount of space for the most flexibility of the design for the best price. So I just think, I feel like the value of the Wave is tremendous. We're constantly listening and learning um, from our consumers and from our own experience, uh, new ways to make the product better. And we'll continue to do that, definitely. One of our guiding principles of Leatherman is, is uh, dominating multi-purpose tools, which to me means being the best multi-purpose tool in the world.